A quarterback was injured during a big rivalry football game last year here at Peninsula High School. Now, a 16-page complaint claims that it happened as a result of a practice, policy, and custom to incite violence. After the big game, intentionally trying to inflict injury on another. There are big allegations. There was a, a, a very late hit multiple seconds after the whistle had blown. Uh, that was extremely violent. Attorney Kevin Hastings says it happened during the fishbowl game. On September 15, 2023, his client, Gig Harbor High's quarterback at that time, had to be carried off the field as a result of an after-play hit allegedly carried out by a Peninsula High player. Hastings says it left his client with a broken jaw and concussion, and he lost feeling to his legs for approximately eight to 10 hours. After this happened, it took medical personnel a long time to get there because the school didn't have arrangements for medical personnel, sufficient medical personnel to be there on site. The attorney adds his investigation over the past several months found players encouraged to engage in impermissible and dangerous conduct during football games. There has been a culture and pattern and practice of this type of behavior within the Peninsula uh, School District and specifically within uh, the Peninsula High School of encouraging children uh, who are playing football uh, to not only target quarterbacks, but also to injure them. When asked about the allegations, the Peninsula School District said they do not discuss or comment on open litigation. I also reached out to the football coach today, and like the district, he is not commenting at this time on the open litigation. At Peninsula High School, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.